Hi, my name is Rebecca Lassen and I'm with RejuvaTouch. And I'm Dr. Amanda Kelsey with Health Source of Oakdale. And we came on here, we just want to do a quick little video to show you guys how to utilize a lacrosse ball. Dr. Kelsey, do you want to talk to us about how we decided to do this video? Well, when we were out visiting our dental hygienist, we noticed a pattern of dysfunction with a lot of upper shoulder on one side and low back on the other, depending on what hand you use in, in work. And so we wanted to put this video together to show you how to do some self-care um, at the office to make your work days more comfortable. Right. So let's show you how to use this little lacrosse ball. Now you should have gotten this from us and a sock. So go ahead and take the ball and put it in the sock. And that's for convenience sake. You could definitely do this with just the ball, but the sock might make it a little bit easier for For those tight shoulders, you're going to want to take the ball and put it right back here on the inside of your shoulder blade. So there's Becca's shoulder and you're going to come right in on the inside of the bony part and place the ball between you and the wall. And then from there, you can bend your knees up and down looking for some oh, sore spots. Found one. When you find a sore spot, you're going to want to stop and hold it. And I would encourage you to use this time to take a couple of deep breaths instead of watching the clock. Getting some oxygen in will help those muscles relax. And it's also a good time to practice belly breathing versus chest breathing. And it loosens up pretty quick. It's pretty amazing how well a little ball on a sock can feel. So once you've spent a couple of breaths there, find maybe one or two other spots. And then you're going to move down to your low back. For this one, you're going to want to start on the outside edge of your body. And when you get up against the wall, you're going to roll across and into the muscle. Same thing goes here. You're going to find a sore spot. Bend your knees if you need to. You're going to be working on an area from just below your ribs to right at the top of that big hip bone. Find your sore spot and then take your breaths, big belly breaths, and then move on to the next spot. All right, and we got one more trick to show you guys. So our bonus tip for you is because you work with your hands in front of your body all day long, these muscles tend to get very tight. So you're going to find a door frame, you're going to put this ball on your chest muscle and then lean your body in and again look for those tight spots. You might actually find this entire muscle is sore, but find the ones that are worse. Find that trigger point. Take your big belly breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Use this as a relaxation bit time and work out those sore spots. Again, finding anything from below your collarbone, even down into the breast tissue and look for those sore spots. So I hope you guys enjoyed these little tips to help you with your self-care daily. This should be a nice quick 90 second break that you can take to get some blood moving in those muscles, decrease your pain, and help you be more productive through the day. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye. Bye.